All right, did you receive your ballot in the mail yet? Hopefully you did by now because this year's election will all be done by mail. Remember, there will be no polling places on election day. And the primary election is actually coming up very soon on August 8th. So joining us this morning is Scott Nago, Chief Election Officer. Good morning, Scott. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. I'm glad to see that you're doing well and social distancing at the convention center. <laughs> okay, first yeah. off, what should people do if they haven't received their ballot yet? Well, first thing they should do is they should go to our website, elections.hawaii.gov, to make sure that they're registered. And if they, if they are registered, they should call, contact their clerk's office um, to get a ballot right away. And, you know, when you're going over this, we're human. We sometimes make mistakes. But what are some of the do's and don'ts when filling out your ballot? Well, it's important to know that um, Hawaii has a single party primary, so the first thing you want to do is select a party or a political preference and only vote for those candidates in that political preference because votes for candidates in other political preferences or parties will not be counted. Also, if you do make a mistake, um, do not use white out, do not cross it out. Call your clerk's office to get a replacement ballot. Okay, the primary, August 8th, coming up. So when do people need to mail in their ballot? So people should actually mail their ballot in. Um, we're recommending five days uh, prior to the election. If you don't, um, if you want to hold on to your ballot within the five days, we recommend you use a place of deposit or a drop box, or uh, walk it into a voter service center. So if people need any questions because they're still kind of confused, how can they get some help? So they can either go to our website, uh, elections.hawaii.gov. They can call our office, 453-VOTE, 453-8683, or they can follow us on social media at elections808. Any final thoughts? Because I know those little, small little errors can add up and cause a headache for you, right? <laughs> yeah, we just want to remind voters that they need to sign their return envelope prior to submitting their ballot. Um, if your signature is not on that envelope, um, your ballot will not be counted. So prior to mailing it in, make sure you do sign your um, return envelope. And do you have any idea of, maybe because it's all by mail this year, mm -hmm. that first reading, is it going to be like a 80% completion or like a timeline? You know, it's really hard to see not having done um, something like this, but our, our intent is to um, have all votes in that were cast prior to election day. So it would be everything in that up until that day. Is this part of the year where you get excited or you get stressed out? How are you feeling now? <laughs> I think I feel a little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you have it, Scott Nagel, Chief <laughs> Election Officer. Thanks for joining us, folks. And, of course, we will have all that information on our website at cage12.com.